Here are my, ba uh, my bets for this race going through. Uh, you see that Balaka or something? That was the JTS bet. It was just the one bet on that race. That system's bank barrier for me, so it's 0.1p. Switch over to the next race. Just a little timer there when it switches over to the next race. Sorry, I don't know if you saw that. It was at the top left. Okay, now we're on to the next race, so I can just close this down now. It's uh, 9 minutes to the next race, and I'll just carry on where I left off. So, checking over the results from yesterday, which is the second. Um, I mean, th that is a good case where you can see that, um, well, that it's now out of the bank barrier. So, you know, you can... The, the, that will be bet on today now. Uh, that system is in the bank barrier. It's £24.59. Even though it's just slightly in profit, it's still not enough to take it out of my bank barrier 28. And uh, bank barriered, this system is in profit, which is Max Lays. And um, because of my staking plan, it's, it's quite heavy. You can see that I made £2.85 on... Um, uh, you know, I would have only made one pound level stake, but I made two pound eighty-five on that. Um, that system, hmm. yeah, that's been bank buried or something. Uh, but it may have had one initial bet, one initial bet, and then it's been bank buried. Therefore, after that, which is um, just kicked in at the right time because it looks like maybe another one of the bets had lost or another two of the bets had lost. Um, okay. First time a bank barriered. Six plus loser, bank barriered at the moment. And then we've got um C D lays. That that's uh, currently just kicked in. Kicked out of the bank barrier, so we're getting some bats on that. Liam is um is well and truly out of the bank barrier. So <laughs> we're getting some ridiculously high stakes on that at the moment. So I just uh hope it holds up. See it's it's when the staking plan when the stakes have been getting, you know, relatively high I've been having to reduce my, my actual stakes because it just you know my stakes are just go up ridiculously if I'm still betting this six percent and stuff. So eventually I'm gonna have to move to a more sensible staking plan like you know three percent or two percent for my lays and stuff like that. I've just done it like this just to really give a chance for the the systems that are that are doing well to really do really well. Um, okay, so you see I made £12 profit on, on that, but I would have only made £3 profit on level 6. I don't recommend anyone follow the staking plan, <laughs> though. <laughs> um, running for profit, bank barriered. See, I'm saving myself quite a few money by bank barriering these systems and just testing them. Um, not much money on the odds on banker, but it's not bank barriered, but, you know, it was a real odds on horse sort of in that particular case. System bar um, banker, you saw before that it made like a three pound sixty bet. You can see like you know the the ratio between level stakes and uh, it, the staking that it's doing. You can see why it, it's staking so much. You know, and uh, because of, I'm quite a bit in profit on that system so far, so I made a little bit of profit yesterday on that. JTS made two pound of profit, but I'm still got that on level stakes. Is well and truly in profit. Thirty ten, thirty two pound of profit. I do wish that. I would have followed that system through properly, but oh well, I'm just going to have to bank barrier that one now <laughs> until I'm ready to follow that one through. Um, up here, these are just um, statistics that aren't really to do with my bot. This is just um, some advice uh, which uh, Matthew had, had uh, brought up about uh, which systems. These are the results that he posted in his blog, basically, just statistics, and I use these to try and, um, you know, when I was beginning, really, just to make a decision on which uh, systems to follow. This is before I had my bank barriers in place, before I could follow the system for myself. I was just using Matthew's uh, res uh, results as a uh, as guidance. Okay, so um, we saw that last system bet that went through was a JTS, number 43. Check on the bank barrier, it was a JTS, just to confirm this for you. Um, I can change this now. Um, let's have a look at today's bet so far. I'm not doing too well. <laughs> it's only the beginning anyway. Um, we we'll had a double top go through. These results here will be from the first race and the second race. You can see 
this result hasn't come through yet, no is that one, or that one, or that one. These results will be from the first race, these first five results. And uh, them ones have been bank barriered. This race wasn't bank barriered, trainer free, made a small loss, £1.85. Excuse me. And uh, this uh, barrier, is it TJ Murphy? And um, what it actually stakes at, the stake in it, it stakes at my actual bank and not... The, the bank barrier works off the level staking and my percentage, and uh, my actual stake, once the bank barrier has been achieved, or you know, uh, you know what I mean, has been uh, my percentage stake is on the actual profit. This is why this stake, although it's at 6%, and this is at 6%, this stake is higher because it's, it's actually based on my actual bank, which is £28 and this is at £23, this is lower, even though the level stake in profit is above. This kind of thing can happen because um, I may have been, uh, well I, I know why this in this particular case it happened, is because I had TJ Murphy, because I had no bets on this system at first, I just had it on a, a 0 0.01, I had it on a decimal stake, and then pretty much the first bet that it placed, it was the first bet actually, it won £10. Uh, but I had that bank barriered, so it's put it ten pound of profit, but I haven't made any money out of it because it was bank barriered. You know, things like that can happen. Okay, so you can see how the uh, the, the banking sheet works there. Hope that gives you a good idea of how that works and how all the system results are recorded and stuff. I will be making improvements to this, but that's how it works so far. Um. I'm just gonna pause the video for a sec. You won't, <laughs> you won't know that I paused it, but I'm just gonna catch my breath for a minute. Okay, back again. Next race starts in three minutes. Just trying to get better assistant up. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if there are any races in this race. This is uh, the 250. Uh, no, we don't have any selections in that, so I don't have to bother getting my bot running in that. If my bot does go to a race, though, and uh, there are no selections, it'll just wait until they're off, and then uh, once the race has started, um, I mean, if if you have the right conditions in, say, like, you know, once race goes in play, which m it does for uh, for number four, which I was showing you before on the go-to-next-race condition, and once the race goes in play, and it's been in, in play, uh, well, yeah, as soon as it goes in place, sorry, yeah, then it, it switches to the next race. Um, okay, over to sheet one. You guys will know about this, the old sheet one. You know that minus one will take you to the next race in here in the cell, in cell Q2. Minus two will take you to the previous market. I think the mi uh, minus three and minus four also uh, do new triggers now. I think they update the quick picks list, but I am bothered integrating any of that. I've still got to include some com uh, integrate. Uh, <laughs> uh, I forgot what you call it now. In integration? No, that's not right. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? I've got to include a uh, com uh, functionality into uh, my bot yet, which I'm still going to get round to, which I can do. Uh, I haven't, I haven't tried it yet though, but I'm quite looking forward to do that. I just haven't found a need really for any of the the com stuff yet. I've been getting by just fine uh, uh, as I have. So sheet one, yeah, you understand this. Um, just over here, I've added these comms to my bot. Um, it tells you what my actual profit is on each col on each uh, on each uh, system, and then what my level stake profit is on each system. This is used for my bank barrier. So my bank barrier will look at this, and my bank barrier will look at this, and then uh, this here because it, this is like updated straight off my uh, off here, off my old results here. So it can. Uh, you know, before each bet, it'll uh, it'll update all these into my into my bot into into an into an array, and then it'll look at that result. You know, so results results are updated after every race. They're updated, you know, as soon as possible. You know, staking plans and everything. They're all updated after every race. Well, as soon as sheet two has been updated, which is kind of a problem at the moment. Need that? I need a trigger to update that receipt that result as soon as possible, really. So sheet two, I just use this for uh, my temporary results. And you, I think you saw before when the bot was running. Oh, there's been an update. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna disable my my streaming, and I'm gonna get that.